if he's Mas there, I'm fine. My brother's telling me to sit down. I didn't move. See, I didn't, oh, I didn't, look, I didn't look at me. It's just a look, you know. <laughs> Like in the Godfather. Now, now, you know what? The first question we got to ask all four of you guys, and I don't care who answers this, who in the hell thought this movie. movie would do what it did? Look at these fans sitting here in a standing room yes. only crowd. Yeah. Yeah. I, I thought corpses was good, but I'll tell you what, I love Rejects. Yeah. 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 Really, somebody, who, who thought this movie would do what it would do? Well, you know what? It could have done it. Is this on? Yeah. Come on, eh? Try the shrimp. Try the shrimp, yeah. <laughs> Tip your waitress, they work real hard. Tip your waitress, uh, they work real hard. <laughs> uh, it could have done a hell of a lot better if Lions Gate didn't pull the plug on the damn thing. Yeah, they did. Oh, they did talk quit. about that, would you, brother, please? I will talk about that, because I don't get this shit. Yeah, okay? fuck him. Go ahead, tell him. He's got yeah. the only mic that's hot. Uh, no, 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 no. You're good. Just no, no, no. That's true. Yeah, that is true. I, I don't think we need to talk. We're just actors, but I would love to have it if uh, if Ken and, and uh, Michael did the uh, chicken fucking scene for me. Uh, clean himself up and throw him right at us, right? Go ahead. We don't have the guy here. I'm a fan here, too. Do we have it? We don't have any roll around in reds. What, 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 what? All we need is a a chicken. A hillbilly. Do you guys realize the only yeah. person in this room who hasn't seen the movies, Michael Berryman? <laughs> I haven't seen the movie. Yeah, he was ever seen, seen the movie? Right. He right. Every seen. time I go, he lives in the fucking hills. I live in the hills. <laughs> uh, every time I go, oh, eyes. just move. I get on the plane, go to another show. I hear it's pretty good. Right. Yeah, it's damn good. I'm telling you. <laughs> okay, uh, well, you wouldn't be thinking of fucking these chickens, would you? Uh, uh, my mic's not on. What? Your, your it. mic is on. Your <laughs> mic is on. Okay. Fucking chicken. You, 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 you already called me. You called me. I, I ain't no motherfucker. I didn't say, I didn't say he was going to. You were going to fuck chicken, but, but this boy looks a little I'm depraved and a little lonely. Depraved? <laughs> you, are you talking about chicken fucking? <laughs> <laughs> You, mean, you, you pull the head off and you pull the head off. And you spit stick it on your dick and it's got the dick in the dick. <laughs> Do you guys realize? Please go flap 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 flap. There might be a chicken. What sick motherfucker? Wait a second. Wait a second. I know what chicken fuck going. I know. You know. All right. There there might not be any chicken fuckers in here. But so much. Can can you can anybody tell me how you know if somebody's been kissing a chicken's ass? <laughs> You have never attended a, a talk on the wasteland. We don't really do much. I thought, it was, we I thought it was that the chicken was smiling. This is only for serious film fans. Yes, that's it. You can tell us how oh. damn serious we are. Okay. Yeah, now we got to let, let Ken sorry. do his job. Okay. Okay. Go. Yeah. Ken, Ken, do your job. job. Ken, I'm sorry. I'm I got no job. I'm not, I come into these things totally unprepared. Because really? anytime I do prepare, we don't talk about anything I write down. Wow. So, oh, so we're just shooting from the hip right now. Well, right? You know. We shoot from the hip at the wasteland. Uh, that's we're right, baby. Drunk, yeah. 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 So now, you want professionalism? Pay for it. Hey, one of the best shows in. Uh, I nominated one of the best show in the Midwest area. I understand. Yeah. Oh yeah. We yeah. Can Is this show? show right yeah. here. Oh, yeah. 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 The one with the Ken Forey T-shirt on. Wait a minute. The, that's the guy we want. Um, I gotta ask um, Sid, um, how did you prepare or how did you deal with the fact or, you know, hell, did you just enjoy working with Ginger Lynn there? Or? I knew this had to be. You're talking now, baby. Yeah. Good question. You know what? The only way you prepare for that is just take a shower and go for it. <laughs> <laughs> Ginger Lynn. Yeah, uh, did you, hey, you want an interesting tidbit? Priscilla Barnes tried out for that part wow. yeah. first. Did she? Yeah. No, no, no. Well, I talked to her for an hour and a half. She called me and invited herself to this show. 
No kidding. Yeah. Well, on your recommendation. She showed that. That's yeah, right. I know she did. And she will be here next spring. She's marvelous, man. She's oh, she just is. so she is great. funny. Mm-hmm. But she tried out for Ginger Lynn's part, and yeah. Rob looked at her and said, Ooh, I think you got a little more acting ability than that. And I thought she did a wonderful job. Yeah. She's great. Her She's great. She's great. She's great. Although, Sid can tell you about Ginger Lynn. Because she played with pain. She, oh, oh, yeah. She played with pain, man. Her, uh, her knee, she had just gotten an operation on her knee. And <laughs> they had to lift her into that position. Okay? No kidding. No kidding. She was oh, in pain. I tried. I tried to help. I tried to do all I could. I'm but, sure. You but she was. She was in pain. Well, I told Rob, and we can tell secrets. What the hell? I told Rob that I was going to have to do this with my underwear on, and he said, "Why?" And I said, "Because if I go skin to skin with this bitch, it's going to be a whole new movie." <laughs> this seems no longer a question. Skin to skin. Oh, he says actually, we skin to skin. That's it. Uh, let's see what else. My question for the movie is: Was the ice cream, Mr. President? Was the ice cream really tutti and fruity? No, it was tutti fucking fruity. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I have to say, for a guy in his forties, they ain't made tutti fucking fruity in twenty years. Man. I mean, you ever yeah, have tutti fruity ice cream? The, the thing is. Well, we were working on that scene in the office. We had a little rehearsal, and Rob says, "What are you?" Because we were reworking the scene, and he says, "What are you going to say?" I said, "You know what? I don't know what I'm going to say until I say it." Okay, so let's just do it. And it just came to me to say, "Tootie fucking fruity." Well, he was kind of half laying on the couch. He fell to the floor, and my brother almost beat himself to death. <laughs> and so it stuck. That was it. Good. Strawberry. Because they haven't made Tootie fucking fruity. Is anybody old enough to remember Tootie fruity? It tasted like bubble gum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I am too, sadly. Manhattan. I had a question for all you. Why did Tiny, why did Chicken Cross the Road have a Tootie fruity song? Why did Chicken Cross the Road? Yes. Because Tiny fucked the stump. Hey! Yeah. The uh, hotel scene. I saw yeah. them in the making of this. We talked about how you know, the break after the break. I was getting you down. How long did that scene take to film? What? That, I mean, that scene is obviously one of the brutal scenes. It was brutal. It, it took a couple hours because uh, you know it was so hard to get through the first take because uh, it's uh, you know that's the scariest one because you're making it up as you go along and. Um, and then the funny thing about movie making, you get through it and you feel like, you know, relief, uh, you know, thank God I made it through. And then you realize, you know, that's the first of maybe seven different takes. Because the cameras have to move, they favor one angle or another, they have different lenses. Oh my God. I mean, I so got, I got to think it kind of had to get awkward with you and Priscilla Barnes at some point. You know, it, it didn't really get awkward, actually, because uh, I was a little worried. When, when I first read the scene, I was personally worried about it and uh, was wondering, you know, I, I didn't know. Uh, I had, I've had the same girlfriend for 10 years and I, uh, you know, wanted to keep, keep her. <laughs> she likes me. She really likes well, me. Good thing and you didn't have a scene with Ginger Lynn. <laughs> but uh, you know, I remember I remember letting her read the script, figuring you know I, I was a little uncertain about it, and, and I figured if she was really like, if you do this, I'll never talk to you again. You know, that might have tipped the balance. You know, you might, maybe somebody else would be sitting up here. But um, uh, actually, she read it, and she's uh, you know a, you know a great actress in her own right, and has been in showbiz for a long time, and. Uh, and she read it, and I'm sure had a lot of feelings about it, but she handed the script back to me and said, it's a juicy part for an actor. Yeah, you know what? I, I talked to her. She, yeah. she called me, like I said, Kenny. Yeah. Told her, call me. Yeah. She, we talked for 90 minutes. Oh, and she Priscilla. told me when she read that, yeah, Priscilla yeah. Barnes well, told me when girlfriend. she read her part, <laughs> she said, this is the most powerful, dramatic part I've ever had. Oh, yeah. And she dug it. I mean, she dug yeah. right in and said, yeah. oh, my God, I'm really acting. Right. Well, I was so, I was really afraid because I asked her about of, it myself. It's a blue it's a blue recollection, but I was afraid and I was thinking like, oh man, this is going to be tough enough for me to do it. Uh, you know, let alone you know if the actress that Rob has chosen is kind of balky and thinking, I don't know if I want to do it. You know, I was just thinking it's going to be hard enough to do it with a willing you know per, you know if there's somebody that has any reluctance, like I don't know if I want to do this. I was thinking, oh man, how you know? And then and I mentioned that to Rob and. Uh, I better not tell this story. It's pretty, pretty.